My Gavan and Melanine and Wellmet indeed. I am Arak Hair the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer in our very, very successful Enedwyth campaign. We continue to press out and do damage. I'm not particularly displeased that this campaign has been overall quite easy, because the Umbar campaign as um, I'm sure you are all now getting to grips with how that one's going. That one's getting very difficult indeed. The Anduin campaign is also hotting up, as I'm sure you've all seen as you've watched um, a few Anduin episodes have gone before this. So the Enidwyth one is a bit more laid back at this moment in time. And of course, the Northern Dunedain episodes ended a long time ago, so no worries there. We will, of course, soon be under the cosh, though. So it might be simple at the moment, but give it time and our enemies will come at us in force. We will press north, as I've already said. We don't want to really anger the beast that is Angmar. Because Angmar, now that we're beyond the barracks event, by the time we reach Angmar proper, even Angmar will outclass us. In fact, there are few factions in the game that Enidwyth do not, that Enidwyth actually can outclass. In fact, there are none. Enidwyth, Dunland, Anduin, and Bree, I would argue, are probably four of the, in terms of overall roster, looking at it from start to finish, I would suggest they're the weakest. Because whilst the Orcs have really poor start, every Orc faction at least has something in the late game that can really do damage. And if you use them wisely and use them effectively, then the Orcs can be a real force to contend with. So, for example, obviously the Angmar units have Witch Realm units. Sauron gets great beasts. They get links to Harad and Run at the Black Gate and Canned. They can train all those types of units. The um, Orcs of the Misty Mountains get trolls and then their own elite units to supplement the trolls. Isengard, of course, are powerful pretty much from the start. So, <laughs> there's no contest there. As we've seen in this campaign, Isengard has been the only point in the campaign where we've actually come close to not succeeding. And we get two free upkeep units here. So, we'll take a unit of those and a unit of those. And the bandits, we'll just get rid of. Ginyard continues on as a nothing, and Gund got us another clan hall, I suppose, or guild hall. Oh, I've ended turn many times now. Was I right or was I wrong? Oh, no, we didn't add them to there. Ugh, I need to add them to there. Oh, unity, elites, great hall. Just add that to my little list. No problem, that'll be... I won't bother with that one in between episodes, though. I'll get fixed in time when it gets fixed. Those armies are almost ready to find Brian. I'm not going to actually attack Brian. I'm just going to keep auto-resolving till people beat him. I, n I never see much point in wasting my own time on the um, on the rebels. Because I feel like when you play this game, you've probably got a, a, a fictitious meter. And at the minute, my meter is maybe at 70% full. So I feel like I can play the game for quite some time. But as you play the game more and more and more and more and more, obviously your meter depletes and then you want to play something else and it it replenishes in its own time afterward. And fighting rebels will take a big chunk out of that meter, but with, for no real purpose. So it's not something I'm too keen on. We've got another Hunter's Guild in Southern Tharbant. Where another military camp has been built. In two turns, and two turns there as well, we'll have the army that we hope for. Three turns till Austin Ethel surrenders to us. And otherwise, again, it's just management. We're just managing everything as we wait. Oh, look, we can bring troops up from here. Another army of some of our more elites. Oh, Dunyard is not included in the regions that get Eisenmac. I know that Byrig is one and Dunlarak is one. But I'm sure there was a third. I'm almost certain that there was a third. It must have been. Why would it not have been Dunyard? I don't know. Might have to look into that then. 
Because I could have sworn it would be Dunyard that gets the other Eisen Mac. Not really that fussed if they only come from Dunlarak and Byrig. They are Dunland's best units. It is a bit cheeky to allow us to train them. Although I say they're their best units, we see Eisenmac Raiders, and when you've got your Ennard Wythe cap on, you've got your Ennard Wythe hat on, you're seeing these units with 18 defense, and you're thinking, wow, like, that's incredible. Get me as many of these as you can. And then you play as Gondor, and you realize that 18 defense is, is about as good as their medium tier. And then you realize that your campaign is going to be a slog. Dunland and Ennard Wythe obviously are pretty much neck and neck. They they can counter each other quite easily, which is why when they go to war as the AI, it's horrendously stalemated because they are at a stalemate. They can both do what the other can do. They're very similar factions, except one has more defense and one has more ambushing, sneaky aggression. And um, But because that ambushing, sneaky playstyle does come out in the auto resolve by way of just increased attack damage it basically makes them just nullify each other they, they cancel each other out our armies from around the world are all we can train units so quickly I'm, I'm training them faster than I can than I can get them they are, I've just never seen replenishment rates that fast only one more turn. Let's just say straight away. There's no point doing the building management at this point. And although we should be running out of money soon. We've put we've built loads of armies. We are going to sweep into Bree and try and utterly wipe them out. I will not rest until the flag of Ennard Wythe stands atop the hill of Hobbiton. Bag End will be in flames and the men of Ennard Wythe will rejoice as one of the wealthiest regions of Middle-earth comes under our control. And we finally get the Master Hunters Guild. Oh, and in Argond as well. That's a good location. Okay. I'm not going to train anything else. Everything that is now is just going to retrain. So you can all retrain, but nothing can train any longer. I don't know what we are retraining. Oh, because of the guild hall. Because of the guild hall. Right, Dol Vaughan. You will be paramount for our... So you are a location that is now of high priority. As is Bregost. You are also now a high priority location. As is Karas Nernaled. So the three of you... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you can get a second unit because you can have two free upkeep now. But the three of you are going to be our key locations. Everywhere else, you can keep the queues that you've currently got, but I'm not going to add any other buildings. One turn till the elves rise up. The army here was, of course, just sent, just built to go and deal with Brian, and that is what we will do. But we will leave behind a garrison in these locations. As you wish. That can only have two people in its garrison. Farm hands. Honor, right, go out and try and find Brian. Forces. Yes. Your orders, my lord. Do we really need? Do we really want him? Are we going to need him? I just don't think we will. I think we'll be all right. Yes, my lord. Go and help With kill Brian. Honor. Also, because we've got a full contingent, really, like we're training some of our best units now, are being trained from around the, around our domain. So. Ah, they can't retrain anything. Oh, but they also didn't train anything. All came from Baradvin. And that's still training. Retrain anything you can. Argon is retraining. These are where the main armies are going to come from. Sweep into Metrith. We'll leave the Northern Dunedain alone, though. I think they'll have their hands full with the Misty Mountains and with Angmar. So we won't worry about them at the moment. Maybe in the future. Three free upkeep from there. Three free upkeep from there. But at the moment we can't train River Spearmen because it doesn't like us enough. Oh, and because we don't have a muster ground either, actually. We need that to get River Spearmen. So you build those. You can also have priority at the moment just so that we can get those units free. Because when you have loads of money, you just spend, 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 spend. You don't think about it. 
And then you realise that you've built so many armies that your spend, 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 spend policy has now come to bite you. And you're, um, you're now not making so much money. So if you can plan ahead when you've got the money to try and save money here and there, because in the future you will not have, have Glorfindel didn't even attack us. Conquest. Oh my word, I am so sorry. Glorfindel is my favourite elf in the entire legendarium of Tolkien's world. Here, I just I think he's so interesting in the books. And his story is so cool. And he hasn't even let me slay him in cold blood. I mean, what madness is this? Exterminate them all. We can't leave it as Austin Ethel. I mean, we're wild men. We're the equivalent of Gaul versus Rome. I mean, we're not leaving it in Latin when we speak some grunty language, which is what the Romans would have called it, of course. Get a hunter's guild straight away there, though. We love our hunter's guilds. Oh, we, we, money's starting to come down now. Goblin Town has the ring. I'm not bothered about the ring. Not bothered at all. Um, I think I will keep Austin Hethiel as Austin Hethiel, actually, because it's one of the few locations which is named... Which is actually... We know categorically that's its name. Like Minas Tirith and Bree and Kandum. Although, having said that, I renamed Isengard to uh, Tremac Tower. Well, I don't know what you're retraining for, but retrain. Oh, middlemen population here is quite high, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Now, we are no threat from our um, Imlad just themselves. They're miles away. They're never going to come back and get it. We'll order. send out our customary tower building I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. generals. Get them Nothing out and find out what's happening. Your notice in these lands, my lord. And then we'll uh, we need here. generals to head over here to deal with whatever's your coming. Orders, my lord. I still won't attack Brian. Yes, yes, <clears throat> my lord. With there he is. Honor, as you command. Clear defeat, but we killed 888. All back, making camp here. Yes. Your orders, my lord. We can go no further, my lord. Oh, they can't move anywhere yet, can they? First, I will take your lands, then your lives. Okay, the garrison here needs to remain reasonably strong. So one of those and one of those, and two units of archers. And the rest of you, head back inland. With <coughs> Again, you might be able to help tomorrow. take out Brian, actually. Making camp here. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> He's called Brian. Yes. Madness. Our troops in the south. Didn't we train some in Dunyard? Yes. And in a single turn, they shall be ready as well. We'll just move them north when we can get them north. Faradvin, two turns till their army is ready. And Argond, one turn till their army is ready. Oh, we've got guardians coming through as well, actually. Can you train guardians? Fifteen more turns. You've already got a unit. Good, good, good. <clears throat> End turn again. Matrife will be the first to fall. We'll try and avoid Cor Willishar. Which is the region... Oh, I can't see my cursor, can you? You can't see my finger either because there's no camera. The region on the far west border, northwest border. <clears throat> it looks a little bit like a V with two sides coming out. I, mean, I can just move there in a moment and show you what I'm talking about. But we'll try and avoid that province so that there's a buffer between us and the Linden. And we'll sweep round through Matrai, through Mengelen. And then come to Bree from the south. Oh, oh, brilliant. Failed invasion. Oh, well done, Rohan. Well done indeed. Now, we shouldn't be the target of an invasion because we aren't particularly hated by our enemy. So with any luck, they'll just they'll just avoid us. Yes, my lord. Yes. All right, you lot. Round two against Brian. With honour, yes. Your orders, my lord. With honour to battle. Crushing defeat. Rally. We can go no further, my lord. Yes, my Even Chief Tadak Lion couldn't handle him. Your orders, my lord. You are weaker than I. We're just making him better, really, aren't we? You We're just making his army stronger. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Yes. Well done, Brian. Yes. Round two goes to you as well. Oh, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Should we go knock on their door and take Anon and Arod? It is just up there. Can you imagine how amazing it would be if we could take 
Kazadum itself. The wild men. You know what? Let's let's bloomin' do it. Bree haven't bothered with us for a while. No one is. None of my campaigns have yet have got anywhere near Moria. Let's take our best units and siege them. We won't take any siege equipment. We will siege them and then make them rally out to come and get us. We'll just hold outside of it for as long as we can. And we'll take one of the game's wealthiest provinces in the in the running. So, gather an army together. We've got troops being trained. Two turns done. Lorak's armies will be ready. The army down there is ready, but we no longer need to. Orders. I won't leave you down there. Have I got a fort somewhere around here where I can gather troops together? There's one there, isn't there? Let's go for that one. To Head to that fort. Later. You can retrain what you can retrain. The temptation to train units when you see so many available is so high. My lord. Can you retrain things? Yeah, keep retraining as well. Another end turn. The time passes. I'm just going to do a little check. Just double check that the keyboard timer is actually... Yeah, no, it is the same. Maybe a few seconds slower than the phone. Oh, look, we're so close each time to getting that guild. If I don't train them... Oh, yeah, look, it's simple as that. Boom. You always want to accept guilds whenever you can, because if you turn a guild down, it go works yes. against you. Yes. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. And you will lose guild points. As you command. Get a low tax rate there, then. Orders. We can go no further this episode today. can therefore be called Gathering for Moria. We'll move in and we'll take it. I'd like to also see what happens if you take Moria. I mean, the chance of us really taking it is so, so slim. With honor. But we can try. Yes, my lord. Come at Brian again. As you command, we, are <laughs> we shall continue tomorrow to address Oh, me Brian, you're losing your troops very quickly, friend. I'm not sure I I'm not sure what we're actually retraining our units for, but we will keep retraining them while we can. And uh, <laughs> again just bad. I don't know what our army composition will be like when we arrive at Kazadum. But they would have had as long as if their armies are on the right hand side of the mountain, we we might be alright. If their armies are on the left, we could be swarmed and obliterated. But at the moment we're in a sort of not really a limbo position, but we're in an odd position where we've not got any threats. Bree might attack us sometime soon, but at the moment I imagine they're probably dealing with Angmar. So we haven't really got to worry about Bree at the moment. Oh, our retraining process is taking forever. So Bree aren't a threat at the moment. Linden will never be a threat. I don't know if I can get that across enough. Linden will never be a problem for us. Unless we attack them, they will stay away. Oh, let's get the Bard's Guild there as well, so that, that can fully like us. Northern Thirbed, I'll take your farms. I see your farms, and I raise you a castle. Just enough An to order. build another tower. Move. Oh, hello. Shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. Now that is a mouthful. <laughs> Noruin Ivnir. You want to say Noruin Ivir, but that extra N at the end, good lord, that's just that's Where's just in there on? just to be mean, isn't it? I've tried we're tired of ordering your own forces about, eh? We're not even at war. Can't you just stay on your side of the river? We'll stay on our side of the river. You just carry on about your business, we'll carry on about ours. How how do you say? Right, the pikemen are going to be key to our defence against the f hordes of Kazadun. my lord. Yes. Where did is that the entirety yes, of our lord. army now? Where did Chieftain Lachlan go? Oh, he's in here. With 
I'm not going to try and attack Brian again. Brian can be at peace now. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. I'm also not going to try and retrain this army, and most of them will be killed off. But the we'll need. I think we'll take two generals to attack. Oh, our faction heir is way better than our faction leader. And Kaoral is looking pretty old at the moment. Yes. So you two are going to be. Yes. Your orders, my lord. The attackers of Moria. Where should we dump this lot? Well, let's just get rid of all of these for now. Can I mass disband units? No, you can't. Oh, probably. There's probably a button for it somewhere, isn't there? Fought bravely, fought well. But Brian has beaten you, so return to your homes, men. Remember, disbanding units isn't killing them. It's just letting them go over. So yes, I, I don't like disbanding units, because part of you does think that you're just slaughtering them all. Your will, my lord. I was going to head to the fort because then we can at least get... We don't need free upkeep, do we? No, head for Luckline. And we'll form our army up when we're all gathered together. So gathering for Moria indeed. I have no... I'm under no illusions that we will almost certainly lose. I, I think we will get obliterated. I'm afraid. The dwarves of Khazadum will be very powerful. Oh, these candles are so irritating. I'm wasting so much wax. The Corsairs decline. Ah. Let's have a little toggle fog of war. What? Oh, I bet it's just because they lost Gobel Tolfalas. Gondor are doing really well. This is how well Gondor do when Ennard White don't attack them. It just shows you the balance. And good lord, Rohan, you cheeky buggers. It's probably why Gondor are doing so well, actually. Rohan are not giving in. Having a secure western border for both Gondor and Rohan has led to them just being very powerful. The elves are... This is the second campaign now where the elves have actually done something. Something has changed. Something has twigged. And the elves actually now try. I, don't, I just don't know what it is. The dwarves of Erebor are doing very well indeed. And, oh, I don't want to look at... We're not going to look at Moria. Don't use the temptation. What of the elves up here, though? Hmm. Oh, I don't know if you'll watch this, Thor Ha. I doubt you'd watch this. I don't, I don't, I've not heard that you've watched any of the videos, but you were talking about why Forlond, Harlond, Mithlond, and Londartharan, why Londartharan was the wealthiest of all of your provinces. And the answer lies in the trade, as you can see just by looking at the map. You can see which one has the most trade. And that's because regardless of whether or not you own the regions that the town borders, the more borders you have, the more money you get from trade. Um, I'm surprised that you didn't un see this for yourself. But in Forlond borders Thorin's Halls and Mithlond. That's it. Harlond borders Karas Odadselk. Buzzradum and Lond Arthran, and that's it. Mithlond borders Forlond, Thorin's Halls, Perth and Loon, and Lond Arthran, and that's it. Whereas Lond Arthran borders Harlond, Buzzradum, Cor Willishar, Under Towers, Karaskalanen, and Mithlond. That's why that one gets so much money. So even though it has the least resources, it gets the most money through the trade. But anyway, that was an entire de section dedicated to talking about for one gentleman. Uh, Ered Lewin are doing all right, actually, and so are Lyndon. Lyndon knocking up. I could do with Lyndon and Ered Lewin going to war. Waste yourselves on each other, and then I'll I'll just snip in and take some of your towns down here. Get him Ladra surrounded by the orcs of the Misty Mountains. Good, uh, it's a wise idea not to go after Anon and Arod. It appears now, doesn't it? Because they've got Kamath Bryn. If they had Fenris they'd have a nice little circle all the way around it. <clears throat> 
Elsewhere, Dale are doing very well, but the power of Rune is great. And the Realm of Dorwinian are doing well. Oh, a modding change that you'll all be very interested to hear is that I did add boats back. Oh dear, I'm throwing juice all over the place. Sorry, I'm gesticulating too much and I've just spilt juice. Uh, I've added boats back to Dale, Dorwinian and Rune. But they are only available in Mistrand, Elgar, Karasant, Karas Falathrim, Sant Anwi, Eskaroth and Dale. Oh, and Rhubar as well, actually. Now, they're available in those locations regardless of who has them. So if Run has all of those locations I just said, they'll get ships in all of them. But it now means that Dorwinian Dale and Rune can all sail as far up and down here as you like. But you can only get longboats. We are not. We are not your enemy. My crew has no... Now, I, you might be able to trade mercenary cogs. I was looking at how, where the mercenary ships are available, but I don't think they have full coverage. I, don't, I think they were put in as an afterthought. I might tinker with it, but I'm not 100% sure if I will bother. Yes. Yes. Right, so let's do Nothing our final little pieces, and then we will end this turn hands, as Lord. well. Work. End this episode as well. It's not possible, my Lord. I'm not going to move on Moria until everything is as trained hands, as it can be. Lord. Although, actually, we don't want to train units that we're not going to take with us. So... Yes, we train them. Don't retrain the cavalry. Yes, we train them and them and them. Angrin Raiders are a shoo-in. River Elders, that's pretty much the whole base anyway, isn't it? Barad Vin. Yeah, most of you. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Just, just train everything. Train, 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 train. I don't know what yes, to do with the army of generals that we've now order. got, though. Because other than Khazad Dun, we're not actually at war with anyone at the moment, I don't think. Oh, no, we're at war with Imladris, Khazadum, Mordor, Harad, and Bandit. Oh, of course, because we attacked Mordor right at the beginning, didn't we? And Harad. Imladris we're at war with, but that's never going to do be a threat ever again. That just might affect diplomacy with certain other factions. And Khazadum, as we have seen, their passive nature means they don't even attack you. But we will rock up and we'll find out what we can do. But that will end that episode there. So thank you very much for watching this one as well, if indeed you have. I am Araka Galadirathan, the head of Divide and Conquer, and I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. Feel free to pop any comments that you wish in the comments section. But until we speak again, dear friends, Navar and Aden Perimad Melonin, and farewell.